close your eyes Let me tell you all the reasons why Think you're one of a kind Here's to you Jeffrey Pong My favourite memory of Jeff? Well, that must be his sweatproof shirt that he wore in Bali to Grant and Lenny's wedding, which by the end of the night was just made of pure sweat. Jeffrey Bond. When did I first meet Jeff? Well, Actually, I met the myth, not the man. Back in Singapore in 2001, there was this story and whispers about this enigma of a man that was always working, did not sleep, loved a V-lookup, was rather pedantic and had a little bit of OCD. And in fact, when I got to know you, it was all true. You're insane, Jeff. But we love you. Jeffrey Pong. How did I first meet Jeff? It was thanks to Ramesh's incessant scheming. Ramesh is still Ramesh, but I'm glad it meant that we got to meet each other. Jeffrey Pong. Funny moment. Listening to Ronnie and Jeff compare the random cufflinks they bought at 3am because there was a special one. Drinking moments. Um, going to the Grosvenor after a long day and trying to work out what Jeff's day was like by the size of the G&T you would have. Small, good day. Large, bad day. first management meeting uh, for the project in the boardroom. Greg was there along with everyone else. Starts at 8.30, Jeff turns up 15 minutes late and then proceeds to blame his alarm clock uh, for being late. Jeffrey Pong, Jeffrey Pong, Jeffrey Pong. When we started working with him, there was a bit of a cultural adjustment and uh, we had to work together to actually understand uh, why he was micromanaging all of us so much but also um, why he was getting into so much detail so that was quite interesting. What I liked about the environment that he was fostering is more the fact that we could all drink together, uh, go out of uh, the office and, and, and uh, have some drinks and, and redo the whole day of meetings uh, there. The other uh, interesting part is the uh, how we created uh, something we can't talk about. It's also called Wine Club, but we can't talk about it. It's rule number one of Wine Club. Um, so I won't talk more about it, but Wine Club. Yes, we met over a project, um, but the things that he, he always um, managed to uh, maintain relationships in terms of getting us uh, in contact or one by one, uh, catching up uh, outside of uh, uh, the immediate work environment, either in Singapore or in Bali or in Sydney, uh, just the world is not enough. Jeffrey Boom. Sometimes I think when my project is in trouble, what would Jeff do? And then I know the answer. I need to get some whiteboard markers, preferably at least three or four colors, and then start breaking out the problem and solving it. My favorite moment with Jeff has to be the team meetings, getting everybody together in a room, um, talking to each other, and yeah, creating structure from chaos. 
What would be great to do in the new year? It would be awesome to get together again in KL, Singapore, Australia or Japan and get up over a good glass of wine. Happy birthday, Jeff.